What's up cuties, my name's Fainted. Throughout the entirety of 2021, I've been picking out the most funny, crazy, and just wild tweets. <laughs> and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best, the creme de la creme of the year. So this is Twitter 2021. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe to Fainted. Okay, fine. I cheated. No dream, no. I wonder how many Minecraft kids got baited by this. When you late for work in the winter. <laughs> Jordan. Wipers talking about. <laughs> Karina tweets. Do you want to come visit me in LA? At Carl Jacobs. Karina. I will walk there. Send ETA. I'll be on my way as soon as I finish watching your fantastic Facebook gaming stream. Ladies and gentlemen. A simp could make it. Let's go! Damn, Carl. No matter what happens, this is for you. <laughs> Big dubs. Putting my Grammys in the basement to make room for the new Supreme. Oh, yeah. That's a flex. Babe, are you all right? You haven't touched your giant custard cream. Who is the chef here? Who is the chef? Dude, hope this king is all right. Oh, no. What happened? What happened, bro? He bought the cute little teddy bear, the roses, and then all of a sudden, they get chugged away in the Bud Light aisle, and he pulls away with a 20 crate. I want to know the story behind this, bro. Who broke his heart? Who did this? Um, I don't even know who to call. And we have an image here, which... I just... How has this happened, bro? Is, is that a penguin just chilling out? How did this penguin get here, dude? <laughs> oh, damn. It looks like he's near a school as well, judging by all the school buses. Boyfriend trying to carry. Girlfriend who just started. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine playing video games and actually having a girlfriend, bro. Come on. My fridge has a screen, so sometimes I get bored and Photoshop myself to make it look like I'm in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing in there, chief? You're not cold? What the frick do rappers be talking about? This stuff is ass. Original syrup and Sprite. Aunt Jemima. Mmm, tasty. This emoji is not a kiss. It's this. Bruh. Yeah, like that emoji actually does look so accurate to that meme. Oh my gosh. Next up, we got a few text messages captioned. Works every time. So he gets a message from Emma saying, Hey, I think we should talk. And he's like, Bruh. And looks up on Google. Girlfriend cheat codes 2021. Yo, look at this cool bug. Never mind, baby. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> wow, bro, those girlfriend cheat codes be working just fantastically. If your bae's ever about to hit you with the, I think we should talk, just reply back with a picture of a cool bug and there you go, relationship saved. Woke up this morning and I thought I got a DM from Pokemon. And we got Pokemon here saying, hey, you're cute. Wanna get bubble tea at Pokemon? Just give me a chance. Dude really had his notifications on for Pokimane and thought a general tweet she put out was a DM. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. A girl will join a PS4 party and dude's voices will go from Lil Uzi to Batman in a matter of seconds. Mother Frick has made $328 off of Dogecoin and started looking for houses in LA. <laughs> Mother Frick is after making $2.39 on the stock market. Yeah, we got money, baby. In my server, you get banned for not saying bye before hopping off voice. Yeah, it's kind of disrespectful to be fair. In my server, you get banned for not kissing the homies goodnight. Mwah! Right on the forehead. What? Yo, that's sus! Um, where does this guy think he is? <laughs> bro thinks he's in platform nine and three quarters, bro. I've been waiting for this chair to finish loading for 20 freaking minutes. <laughs> Who designed this man? Oh. What are you blasting out of these? Dude, whoa, whoa, whoa. Weren't these like the just terrible speakers you had back in like 2005 in school? And then someone replies with this 3D pinball. Ay, ay, ay. Even more nostalgia. Man and bird spotted in St. James Park today. Why does this look like the beginning of the most intense 1v1 that we've ever witnessed on planet Earth? Like this is literal boss music start playing when you walk in past these two mother frickers. Babe, a Twitch streamer is coming for dinner. Get the good bottle. Ah, uh, yes. Le Pogger! <laughs> That's so Pog, mate. Freaking Pogger's wine. <laughs> Only the finest streamers can consume that. 
Diver finds 900-year-old Crusader Sword. Congrats to him for completing whatever main quest he was on. Sorry, haters. I got to take this. Incoming call from the money. After buying two Doge coins, I found them. The frosted mega wheats. Wow. Why do these actually look quite tasty? <laughs> Just hold on, I'm coming home. Hey, Drake. Oh. <laughs> wow, he really does look a lot like Drake. Why do they all think people rot at the age of 21? And we've got a little TikTok here that says, I hope I age like the Bridgerton cast. She's 25. I'm surprised she hasn't started wrinkling yet. 25 years old, she's ancient. If they think people over 20 are old, I don't even want to know how they think people over 30 look like. Bruh. How Gen Z thinks they'll look the second they turn 25. <laughs> yeah. Oof. TikTok makes me feel like I need a senior discount. Dads will watch 40 minutes of news like this. Oh yes, the news is so interesting. <laughs> Very accurate. If bears are so dangerous, then explain this. Oh, get down, get down. He's, he's a wild beast. Seriously though, guys, come on, come on. If you want to be threatening animals, at least don't look so cute. Look at those little ears. Me, I'll take a short nap. Also me after four hours. <laughs> no one. Nine-year-old me. <sighs> Yo, it's tough out here, bro. My Game Boy DS got hacked. <laughs> Nine-year-olds drinking away their problems with apple juice. No tweet, just bear in river. Hey, what's up, chief? He looks like he's having a great time. Uber Eats driver couldn't find my house, so... <laughs> yes. Look to the sky. Follow the beacon. Um, what? Oh my gosh, I see it! You're being summoned to an Uber Eats delivery by this. <laughs> Mother Fricker was looking around. <laughs> and this guy replies, Um, I think my Uber driver is in trouble. And we got this guy out here in his Honda CRV. <laughs> what the frick? Yo, you good? Hi, on way. I'm lost. How did this happen, Dinesh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ubisoft tweet out, What games will you be playing this weekend? And this guy says, Your mom! And then Ubisoft reply with the Uno reverse card. <laughs> that is the reverse card, right? This is why we love Tony Hawk. And Tony Hawk tweets out, I'm Not sure why this interaction resurfaced, but while you're here, Please help us build more public skate parks by purchasing this signed 8x12, a pic of me from 1987. Half of proceeds go to the skate park project. And yes, I personally signed them all. Why just half the proceeds? You need rent money? <laughs> no, but the photographer does. What a comeback. But also very nice of uh, Tony Hawk to consider the photographer as well. Very nice. Batman, except his ears work like this. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, look at this dude. You know, if Batman looked like this, maybe maybe Joker wouldn't be trying to 1v1 him every other week, bro. So cute. Oomph. Face reveal besties. Please be nice. And uh, as you can see, we got, got a little couple of images here. And um, these selfies were taken on an iPhone. <clears throat> Twitter for Android. <laughs> yeah, def definitely your face reveal right there, bro. Unless you're just that rich that you decide to have an iPhone and an Android. <laughs> No wonder Sally was in love with McQueen. Lightning McQueen be eating good. Next up, Too Mad tweets out, Burger. <laughs> As you can see, KFC is following him on Twitter, okay? And he DMs KFC saying, Yo, what do you think? <laughs> and they send back this image. <laughs> and then KFC sees this tweet and says, This is fake. You'll hear from our lawyer. Hey, yo, can I get a refund? This ain't a chief. What the frick is that, bro? What the frick is that? They caught Remy. <laughs> no! Send the troops, we gotta get him back. This has to be bait, bro. KFC, surely not. I place this card face down, and end my turn. You, Bruh. That is epic. If you know, you know. I'm over at a guy's house right now, and this is his bedroom door. What do I do? Oh, no. I, I think you should just walk straight out of the house right now, bro, honestly. <laughs> this isn't helping. Smash immediately. Run. Murder. Compliment him. Wow, very contrasting opinions there. But, like, honestly, imagine you, like, going around some dude's house being like, 
Oh my gosh, I know this really cute guy. He invited me around my house and we're gonna watch Netflix. You get over there and uh, this is the, the first thing you see when about to walk into his game den. That is literally sus. Leave. He's sus as frick. <laughs> Why are you dating an eight-year-old? <laughs> me going through replies, all fun and laughs, until I remember my door looks like this. <laughs> this looks like something straight out of Monsters, Inc., bro. You know, when, like, Sully has to go over to the doors and, like, walk in and scare all the children. Like, this is one of the freaking doors that turns up. Zoom in on the center of this photo. Um, okay. Oh! Look at that little cutie right there. Aww. Yeet has officially been added to dictionary.com site. <laughs> and Laserbeam says, I feel responsible. Yeah, doesn't he actually have that, like, tattooed on his forearm or something? Other social media platforms waiting for someone to make a good tweet. <laughs> Yeah, this is why Twitter is the best platform, bro. Adulting is when you put the 497 meat back because you found some for 472. Yeah, that's some broke boy hours. Welcome to adulthood. You get mad when they've rearranged the grocery store now. Without your aim assist, you ain't nothing. Wow, that's a very bold statement. And Myth says, I'll never put a controller player in my top 10 for greatest FPS players of all time. Uh-oh, now you've done it, Myth. Karma already hitting my flip phone hard. And a nade shot says, Carmen Scump taking your favorite player's lunch money on controller and keyboard and mouse. I can't believe it, mate. How dare these guys disrespect controller players like this on the timeline. Wow. Wow. Honestly, this may be one of the most interesting political debates of our generation. Who is the superior players? Mouse and keyboard or controller? Oh, damn. It's literally like the gaming equivalent of iPhone versus Android. Okay. I think these are done. Yeah, I've actually no idea how you've even managed to pull this one off, bro. The most destroyed shoes ever. <laughs> Maybe sell these on Depop as pre-loved. You know some creature would put these up on eBay as like, used condition, pre-owned. All right, if no one else is going to do it. And this dude did an edit. Mate, that is like some edgy album cover right there. Can this guy leave me alone? And we got a text from someone saying, I made another grilled cheese, but didn't frick up this time. Uh, that's a melt, but go off, queen. Hey guys, check out the grilled cheese I just made. You see how stupid you sound? I love grilled cheese sandwiches. For reference, this was my last grilled cheese, which he also made fun of me for. Ha! <laughs> oh, that is diabolical. Next up, Cool Math Games tweet out, This pick goes so hard. Feel free to screenshot. Oh, I only just noticed. Um, is that Cool Math Games on the monitor? I love how they say you can screenshot. I don't think the NFT community would, uh, Appreciate this. <laughs> Meet the 16 year old entrepreneur interested in cryptocurrency. This is the last mother fricker I want to meet. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> he looks like he edits Wikipedia pages. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rather meet the kid who's interested in stuffing him into a locker. I think Beyonce accidentally added me to her close friend's Instagram story. And yeah, this is Beyonce's Instagram. <laughs> Private story. Okay, let's take a look at this close friend story then. Happy New Year, B. Look what she just posted. Doesn't Jay look handsome in his new hat? <laughs> That'd be such an odd thing to discover. Some celebrity with 159 million followers just randomly happens to have you on their close friends list. But yeah, apparently um, it was a joke, guys. This is, this is very sad. I got baited. Not to alarm anyone, but... Okay, we got Vaseline. Nice. Pure petroleum jelly original. But what is this? We open it up and it's AirPods. Wow, oh, that's awesome. Instead of using Zoom for school, we should just use Discord. Can you imagine how funny that'd be? And actually, it would probably be kind of helpful because of the chats. Can you freaking imagine going to click a link to your maths homework and that pop up, links are risky, comes up. Like I think I'd actually piss myself. Today we are going to learn about Beethoven. Groovy bot joins VC. Play classical music. My school does use Discord, and it's funny as heck when students forget to disable the game activity tab and get caught playing Genshin Impact during class. <laughs> Me explaining to the teacher why playing Catboy Simulator 2020 in class is crucial to my education. <laughs> but imagine how much you get in when you forget to turn off game activity and it says, playing Minecraft. When your men has be working? This would happen to so many people. Playing Roblox. <laughs> Kylie Jenner lives in a $35 million mansion, and this is the water pressure. All that money in the shower be looking like this, okay. 
I want to get a plumber in. The biggest scam is cooking for two hours just to eat for 10 minutes. That's what Uber Eats is for, my friend. Help! My printer won't stop printing this freaking image! Feet, baby! This is like when some random dude from Russia hacks your PC and starts printing random things out. Troll face. <laughs> also, look how their legs combine into one another. Guess who decided to eat the inkjet cartridge? This guy! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Wait, so Titanic was shot in a pool? Yes, guys, this epic scene right here from the Titanic movie, believe it or not, it was shot in a swimming pool. Wow, what a joke. Movies, eh? Um, you thought they shot the movie in the ocean? <laughs> Okay. I love this app, man. Whenever I think I'm stupid, someone always reminds me that they're worse. People are agreeing as well. <laughs> Can't wait till they find out about the Avengers. Yep, who'd have guessed it, bro? Next thing they're gonna be telling us is that Optimus Prime is a work of CGI. No way! Next up, Jimmy Kimmel tweets, You know your judgement is bad, when this haircut is only the third worst decision you made this month. <laughs> That's so rude, bro. <laughs> Personally, I think that's a pretty cool trim. This is what all the kids back in school were repping, bro. Shaved sides, long on the top, beast. He, he is British. Who famous singers voted for? Biden. <laughs> Apparently, Harry Styles voted for Biden. Seems legit. <clears throat> you had to be there. Halo 3 release with Zac Efron. <laughs> oh, that's a classic. I wonder what he's getting interviewed about, though. They're like, damn, Zach, are you going to be playing this in the next High School Musical movie? So Pokimane tweets out, single, by the way. And then uh, Reese here replies with, hi, Pokey. Please notice me. I made this shirt. Also, would you consider going on a date with me? It would be a dream come true. Love you, Reese. And uh, just, just take a look at this t-shirt, guys. <laughs> Oh, wow. Like, honestly, Pokey, if you see this, I'm not gonna lie, I think you should drop this as merch. That is wonderful. How it started? Oh, how it's going. <laughs> what is this, Chief? Oh, Gordon Ramsay in the club. You know, this is a piece of modern artwork right here, guys. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. It really is. Don't you just want to eat this up right now, bro? I mean, those lips? Mmm. He tasted good. No. No! How could you do such a thing? Can't believe this dude just went ahead and ate his own masterpiece. I've tried to be fair to you creatures, but now my patience has reached its end. Tell me or I'll... No, not my lips. Not my beautiful lips! No, fuck what, please, no, no, no! What kind of I wish a mf -er would touch my gumdrop buttons? Badass! Is this the secret love child of these two? Yes, I think it is. I mean, if you merge this dude with this dude, you, you've got this boy. This is the guy who makes crinkle fries at the factory. He makes them all by hand. Do you still hate them? And here he is, bro. This is the guy who makes the crinkle fries. Wow, this is honestly so adorable. Just look at the, the way he's eating that up. Nice. What a cutie. Chomp chomp. This level 100 technique right here. Just look at that, bro. This is how your crinkle fries are made, guys. Love when this goes viral, because they really do eat that fast. And they've attached a video, and we've got more cuteness out here, bro. Yes! This is what we love to see on the Twitter timeline, dude. Not TikTok warriors. Beautiful content like this. So cute! Lamal, he bit that same piece so many times. He is trying his best! Don't mock him! He's trying! Okay, next we got a video captioned, Monkey Friend. Look at this little dude! Oh my gosh. So, so cute. Look how cute this guy is, man. What's he eating there? He's chomping, bro. He's loving that. You fluffy. <laughs> they just want to give this dude a little stroke. I don't really know what he's eating, but I love the way he's like, giving those cute little eyes. Like, give me more, give me more. These guys should live in every town. And you get little quests from them, like, gather 15 berries. Like, dude, if you're ever feeling bored, you can just go to your local village monkey and be like, Yo, chief, you got any quests? Next thing you know, you got an epic challenge. If you ain't holding my plants like this for me, I don't want it. This is an MLG Pro Level 100 plant carrier right here. What the frick? Dude, you just be driving through the streets in your Tesla and you look out the window and you see this guy cruising along. <laughs> this guy is so dedicated to his plants, man. Wow. 
just one speed bump or pothole. The back of his neck and head. Bruh. Meek Mill, one of the dumbest people I've seen. And we've got this little story here from Meek Mill. <laughs> you liking those fries, chief? And then we've got another delicacy coming from Meek Mill. Ugh, woof, that looks interesting. And we got Meek Mill saying, play the game like a king. <laughs> Chess champion. What is a pH balance? <laughs> Sounds like an excuse. <laughs> Lol. Oh my gosh, this guy. My tiny Italian landlord strikes again. So her landlord texts her saying, there's an attractive man here to see you. Haha, <laughs> that's John. You can send him back downstairs. Is John going to be a regular guest? Well, John's a good friend, but he's gay if that's what you're asking me. You could get a straight guy if you learn the good pasta. This Sunday, come upstairs. I'll show you how to make a risotto. That will get you married and out of my basement. <laughs> she just sends for a little sad face. Uh, most fascinating part to me is those who assume landlord is a man because of the title and those who assume it's a woman because of the cooking. Um, I assumed woman because it said the landlord was tiny and I've never met a tiny Italian man. Are these men just some kind of joke to you? <laughs> yeah, don't forget about these OGs out here, bro. Your landlord knows what's up. We men are simple creatures. Food and just a single compliment will make us fall immediately. Compliments are rare and precious to us, so we hold on to one for years. Oh my gosh. Damn, bro, this, this is uh, pretty pretty deep, bro. Some girl would have complimented this dude's Fortnite backpack like a few years ago in school, and he, he still, still appreciates that compliment to this day. Bill Gates allegedly pursued women at work, hooked up with at least one. Rich dude freaking hoes ain't news, buddy. <laughs> Hide your anime girls, guys. Bill Gates is on the market. You telling me this guy had billions and only managed maybe one? Lamau. Yeah, it's absolute champ was getting girls back in college. I carried this motherfucker for nine months for him to grow up six foot five and get no meow. I'm disappointed, bro. I honestly don't blame this woman, dude. There's no excuses, bro. If you're six foot five and you're not getting any, um, females, you need to deactivate your Twitter account, mate. At six five, there should be no excuse. But that's the one time I've been on Twitter as someone under six foot and not actually been getting disrespected. For once, it's actually the dudes over six foot getting, like, destroyed. He macked the cheese too hard. <laughs> what are you doing, little guy? Come on. Look at his creps. Ugh. The things a cat will do for some mac and cheese. This dude for real learned how to tuck himself in and now sleeps like a human. <laughs> oh, this guy's so cute, man. Look at this dude. All right, next we got this picture from the Jacksonville Jaguars. And we got these two chads right here. Yo, Jaguars mascot throwing himself off the building on the Jumbotron. <laughs> Bro, I literally didn't notice that at all the first time I looked at this image. What is going on with this dude? Okay, so this guy Starboy says, My car seat. No! And I assume someone stole his car seat, right? It's disappeared. And then this other dude on Twitter says, Just hit the most diabolic lick. And Starboy goes, Yo, what? Mate, you just got caught in 4K, buddy. That is a pretty devious lick, though. Why does he have Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue on the decorative shelf? Yeah, Zuck, uh, you're not fooling anyone, mate. <laughs> this guy's a cyborg, I swear. Ah, oh, what do these humans put on their shelves these days? Ah, yes, barbecue sauce. To show that he is a normal human, who loves normal human things, like barbecue sauce. Because he needs it on standby. If he doesn't chug a boss at least once every three hours, he will die. Cats, when you pet them too long. Um, no. <laughs> a girl just asked the waiter to give me her number, and I'm currently wearing a Valorant shirt at the hooker lounge. I am unstoppable. Hey, I think you're cute. Add me on Insta. And as you can see, this guy was wearing the drip. I think this may be the first time a gamer has ever had a girl actually ask for their number in the existence of the human race. This guy must be an MLG pro, like, oh my days. What a beast. So this dude gets a voicemail and says, NHS can think again if they think I'm picking that up. Because who the frick is that? On Hello, I am calling on behalf of the NHS. What the f- <laughs> What was that introduction? This has got to be like one of those troll calls, like where they're just trying to get your freaking bank details. My crush added me on Snapchat. Yeah. Oh, Sophie. 
Wait a second. 40 million Snapchat score. <laughs> Woof. Your first mistake was going after a girl named Sophie. No. His first mistake was going after a girl. What the frick, Chief? Built myself a little smart mirror. What is this? That is so cool. How do you even do that, man? What? It's far from finished. Still have to add touchscreen capability, then clean it up some. And he's attached a video. Let's check it out. What a flex, dude. What a flex. <laughs> Bro, imagine you bring a girl back to the crib. Or a guy if you're into- Whatever you're into, you bring your anime girl back to the crib, okay? And she sees this mirror in your room. Yep, you're getting laid right there and then. Now what the frick is this? They mama said no. Yeah, the kid was just walking through the store like, I want this basketball, mom. And his mom's like, no, put it down now. You ordered the meat lovers, baby girl. Come over here, let's, let's have a cheeky little kiss. <laughs> Delivered in style. Next up, we have a tweet from March 23rd, 2016 from the Robin Hood app that says, Let the people trade. And GameSpot quotes this tweet with, Uh, Chief, you sure about that one? And Elon Musk goes, Hmm. <laughs> and this dude asks Elon, What would you recommend to trade on? And Elon says, Buy and hold companies that make goods and produce services you love. Okay, I'd better start investing in OnlyFans then. Next up, we got a couple uncaptioned images. What's this? Do you see it? Hey. <laughs> this is still one of the most Insane things to happen in modern history. Wow, this is epic. Revolutionary. Johnny Ive when the product designer suggests putting the charging port in the worst location possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really handy spot to have a charging point, isn't it? <laughs> Consumer, this Apple Mouse design is a disaster for productivity. Apple pick me. Shut up! Shut up! Gosh, damn! That 12 hour shift I did at work got my socks still standing up. Them mother friggers don't even know we off. <laughs> oh, those are some crusty socks, dude. The dudes who be out here buying feet pics would love to invest in this for their little collection. Although the delivery would be quite awkward. <laughs> You'd have to put them in a big box. And then someone replies with this What? Hey, bro, you might want to leave the crib. I've seen this before. Ah! <clears throat> you had to be there. Oh, yes, the Nintendo DS, the Game Boy Advance, <laughs> and the PSP, bro. Oh, these are iconic, honestly, dude. I had the Nintendo DS and I had the Game Boy Advance, but I don't think I ever actually ended up getting the PSP. Rest in pieces. I heard those are really good. I still remember how big the original DS was. The DS Lite was such an improvement. <laughs> yeah, these dudes were like brick phones. My gosh. I remember these chads. I never actually got one of these, but flipping heck, bro. They were thick. Me to my kid. Hey, you know a fun way to spend an afternoon? Origami, the kid. Okay. The result. <laughs> what is this, bro? Is this like a new DLC coming out for the Avengers? We have Claw Man. It's great, bro. Your mom's like, hey, wanna... Wanna do some origami today? And this kid's like, damn straight I do. Most kids make like a little paper hat to like a boat or something, but this guy, he's powerful. Streets won't forget when I baited Sky Sports. This all starts off with a tweet from Burnley O'Fickle. Clearly like a parody account or a fake account of the Burnley Football Club. And they tweet out, just in time. Welcome Danny Drinkwater. More to follow. With a uh, extremely skillful Photoshop. The lighting is just perfect. And then Sky Sports News see this tweet and report live on their TV show. Breaking news. Burnley signed Danny Drinkwater on loan. And then there's even like this little article here as well, I think. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if someone lost their job after this, dude. Like Sky Sports is really, really reputable and... Um, <laughs> They got baited so hard, bro. Like, you think they'd do a bit more research before chucking it on a news article when on the TV. <laughs> what the frick? I take a picture of this as I go into Denny's, and it's there. 30 minutes later, it's gone. Where the frick did the statue go? So this dude pulls up into Denny's, right? And we got the big, is this Ronald McDonald chief? Up in McDonald's, okay? Comes out 30 minutes later, and boom. Where is he? How have they managed to move this dude within 30 minutes? I mean, look at the size of him, bro. How it started 
And we got Jasmine here who says, Nah, frick being the bigger person. I'm five foot one. If we ever meet, I'm literally going to tower above you. OMG. I'm five foot ten. We could recreate this. Okay, let's meet right now. Where are you? DM me. How it's going. Oh! They actually did it, bro. They actually... This is just absolute domination right here. Look at the absolute strength right here, bro. And uh, more importantly, is it me or is um, the girl on the right got her shoes on the wrong way around? <laughs> like, what? I don't know, dude. But either way, very impressed. I want to know how much this girl can um, bench press, bro. Because honestly, the strength is impressive. Okay, next up, Jessica Blevins, who's Ninja's wife, tweets out, I've been working out for 41 weeks straight. Solely doing Peloton and now adding in their strength workouts. So excited to finally be seeing progress. That Peloton has grown my booty six inches already and I'm finally starting to get some definition back in my belly with this epic flex pick. And Ninja replies, Chance be looking at what daddy looks at. <laughs> and I think this is Chance, this little dog. <laughs> oh damn! This boy wilding, bro. Like, think if Ninja sees you checking out his wife's butt, bro. He's gonna want to be 1v1-ing you on Fortnite. I hope Chance has got some good 90s. They've been married nearly 30 years. And we got a little text chat starting with this person's mum saying, Lol, I love you, my lovely boyfriend. <laughs> Their dad says, I'm so shy and embarrassed. <laughs> you know what, dude? I hope one day I can get a text from someone saying, I love you, my lovely boyfriend. Wouldn't that just be epic? Next up, we got a couple texts captioned. I love pranking my dentist. Message the dentist. That sounds dope as frick, actually. Okay. Hey, guess what I'm eating? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. What a flex, dude. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, who has said dentist on text, though? What the frick? Nah, we're cool now. <laughs> he sends this picture to his dentist. That's awesome. I love seeing that. Thank you for sending me that image. Wow, bro. Might have to ask for my dentist's number the next time I see them, just so I can try and send them pics like this. But yeah, I'd be amazed if you ask your dentist for their number and they're like, yeah, sure. Next up, I think we got a Photoshop tweet here from Bill Gates, fresh out of a breakup with his wife after 27 years. Man's most bababooey invention, monogamy. <laughs> poor guy, poor guy, bro. I'm deleting Tinder. Bill, 65, works at multi-billionaire. I can give you an exclusive for those. <laughs> what are you saying, guys? If uh, Bill Gates was to hit you up on Tinder and be like, hey, baby, you want me to fly you out? Would you say yes or no? I mean, it's pretty obvious this is a fake account, but I am interested if Bill Gates would actually consider going on Tinder now that he's, like, single or whatever. Or would he have to use, like, the, the rich person's Tinder? I forget what the name of it is. A vending machine that time forgot. Whoa, bro. This is a like a relic right here. Star Wars Episode 1. Damn, bro. You be getting some fresh Mountain Dew out of this, baby. I wonder how many years old this thing is. Oh, my gosh. That's like actually a collector's item right there. I wouldn't be surprised if some dude who collects like loads of Star Wars stuff would actually pay like big bucks for this. I bought one of these at a flea market once and just hid it in my parents' basement. 50 cent Pepsi. Damn! Dude, there is one of these in the gas station by my house. Lamau. Wow, this one looks so fresh. This one looks mint condition. <laughs> I thought this film was supposed to be like really old, bro. How is this vending machine looking mint condition, man? There is no way it's been sitting out in the sun for 22 years. This vending machine artwork was most likely sitting unused in a warehouse for decades and then recently sold in bulk to vending machine owners. Oh, there we go. It's been explained. You know, I never thought of that before. Like, the vending machine stays the same, but they just change, like, this little artwork at the front. <laughs> it really wasn't that complicated. I don't know how I've only just figured that out. Why my girl got so many Bluetooth options? Damn. Oh, I hate to break it to you, Chief, but... <laughs> We got Audis, BMWs, and then we just gotta appreciate the homie in the Ford Cougar. What even is that? Don't let opportunities pass you by. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, free car wash. Nice one, guys. That's genius. They were like, yo, let me get a taste. My dumbass would have had the sunroof open by accident. <laughs> Partied with this guy all night in Vegas. And when we left the club, he asked my boy for the jersey swap. Jersey swap. 
<laughs> game respects game. Bro, they're too dripped out, man. You need to get it signed as well. It's almost as iconic as when, like, professional football players swap their shirts. So Q-Star tweets out, What was 614 days ago? The day your current girlfriend was born. That's very awkward. Man, I swear, if Keemstar's managed to get another girlfriend, I'm gonna be jealous, bro. Like, that'd be like five girls in the last two weeks. Like, this dude's Tinder profile just must be an absolute destruction. Yo, whose mans is this? And we got this dude at the game, okay, and, uh, let's just say he likes to swipe right. A lot. And when I say a lot, I mean... A lot like this guy's got unlimited swipes out here, bro. But to be fair, it's a good strategy. I've never, ever, 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 ever in my life seen someone swipe that fast before. It's a numbers game. He's smart. No point in wasting your time reading profiles of people who aren't interested. See who you match with, then filter down. Yeah, that's actually like so true, though. At first, I kind of thought this is a little bit odd, but nah, this dude's right, man. That strategy makes sense. Like, you may as well see the girls who actually think, like, you're attractive and then read their profile as opposed to beforehand when it's completely pointless if they're not interested in you. Let's get some respect for this dude out here. He's smart. This guy's strategic, bro. He's probably got a few speedrun world records. Um, what? Buzz Lightyear? Has hair? What? Let me guess. He's gender neutral, too. <laughs> Only bold people can have gender. I am the gender. Jesse, I am the gender. You're at a college house party, and he notices this young woman leaving the female restroom. How do you open? Ah, yes, the female restroom. Clearly the talk of someone who has been to many house parties. Bro really said female restroom. <laughs> Step in front, look up and down analytically. Look deep into her eyes, soul. Send her sexual energy. Take hand, lead. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I actually find this meme pretty funny, bro. <laughs> what is with all of these, like, dating expert pages and posting these threads of, like, how to approach a random girl in a situation? <laughs> like, Twitter is not the place to be asking this. You arrive at your local restaurant, and you notice this young woman sitting alone. How do you open? Excuse me, fairest madam. Is this seat taken? I say, pointing to her lap. I then awkwardly squeeze myself into the booth, knocking over her drink and prompting the manager to remove me immediately. Yeah, just networking. And this dude uh, gets a follow from John Cena and messages him, you were awesome in Surf Sub 2. Oh dear. I have a feeling John Cena is not going to be replying to that anytime soon. Today marks 21 years since Britney Spears built the Eiffel Tower. Wow, who'd have thought? Britney Spears is a fantastic architect. Bruh. Um, she didn't build it. It had existed for years before this pic. You must be fun at parties. Uh, I don't get invited to many parties. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl stuff. Okay, nice. A little binge session of Barbie the princess and the... <laughs> I can't even say that word. Barbie and the diamond castle. Barbie Mariposa. Barbie Princess Charm School. Just Barbie movies for days, dude. <laughs> what are you saying, guys? If you had to choose out of one of these Barbie movies, which one are you going to go for? I don't think I've ever watched any of these, but um, I'm quite intrigued by Barbie Princess Charm School. <laughs> Me looking at Twitter trends. Pfft, don't know who that is. Because I'm not a gamer nerd. Frick Minecraft. Okay, I guess Trisha Paytas is not a member of the Dream SMP. Ah, <sighs> would love to do this with the fellas. Yes, please, sign me up, baby. Pulling up with the boys at the spa, bringing a couple games of chess. Just enjoying the warmth of the water, vibing with the homies. Okay, so in 2015, The Sun posted, We'll be having SEX with robots in the next 10 years. Four more years until I lose my virginity. <laughs> I struggle to believe that the epic Bow Blacks could be a virgin, bro. It's no, no. I love your curves. The curves. <laughs> Bruh. My kind of news day. Geologist finds rare formation inside rock that looks exactly like Cookie Monster on Sesame Street. Yeah. Science. That's so weird, man. Looks really cool, though. Think about how long that rock was already existing before Jim Henson was even born. Somewhere out there in the world, lay dormant, a thing that looked like Cookie Monster, probably before the existence of cookies. This snow Totoro is so beautiful. <laughs> wow. That is just so wholesome, man.
Next time it snows, I might try and make this. BRB. Oh, damn, son! My boy's got some Crocs in a Heelys wheel kit. Oh, no, no! This is about to be epic. That's some DIY right there. Damn, this tweet blowing up. I figure I should plug something. You really do be plugging out here, bro. The camera versus the shots. A Pokemon camera. <laughs> Let's have a look at the photography skills, shall we? Damn! Damn! Damn, son. That is actually awesome. Where can I get one of these, bro? You take photos and you get cute little borders with Squirtle and Pikachu on. Uh. OMG, I used to have one of these in the early 2000s. Wow. <laughs> I have a feeling these will be worth like 50 grand at this point. It's a collector's item. So cool, bro. I know how the stock market works. I literally play Animal Crossing. I may or may not have gone on Etsy and paid real money in the amount of like $2 for someone to come to my island and drop off about $12 million. So I never had to worry about turnips ever again. Yo, same. And then they flex the Animal Crossing balance. Savings balance of 999,999,999 bells. I wonder how many tier three subs you could get with that. Why did they caption it this? And we have a post here on, I think, Facebook from nzherald.co.nz. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. Watch me allegedly shoot my cousin in the street and be arrested for his murder. Rapper Salento arrested over the murder of his cousin. Someone's been murdered out here and uh, the NZ Herald decide to be like, let's make an epic Facebook meme out of it, guys. Also, how many years has it been since that song came out? I remember when that was like the Chad song. Everyone was playing that. Okay, so next up, Gymshark tweets out, blow this up. Whoever gets the most liked comment will put on a billboard in Times Square. Hashtag Gymshark billboard. It can be an idea or a message. Just don't get me fired. And then Corpse Husband gets 530k likes saying, Stream e-girls are ruining my life. But wait, there's competition. Jay Schlatt tweets, I like men. I think that's the number one tweet, bro. Respect the hustle, fellas. Make sure you make a whole segment about me in the commentary vid. 30 seconds or more about how great I am. Otherwise the deal's off. And we got a little Discord screenshot of Schlatt calling in a favor from men getting him to boost his tweet and clearly it worked so i guess gymshark's gonna have to put that tweet up on a billboard in times square and then jay Shat tweets out remember what they took from you and i think this might have been at a point where corpse husband had more likes than him give proper credit you dumb frick you are blatantly stealing other people's hard work and i think they're saying that because somebody photoshopped this and like jay Shat didn't um tag them <laughs> and Shlat says uh, who made it? Freaking egg, Schlatt. Somebody poured their blood, sweat, and tears into photoshopping your tweet on a billboard. It is freaking ludicrous you think you can get away with stealing someone's hard work like this without any form of credit or payment to the talented artist. You should be- The artist behind this epic photoshop work didn't get credited. It is a crime, quite frankly. Probably took someone 10 seconds in photoshop to make that. Damn. That was a super tight fight, but congrats, Corpse Husband. So yeah, Corpse Husband here with 437k likes, and then Selma here with a very valiant effort. Ratio. <laughs> 24 likes. It was a close one. My DoorDash driver thinks she funny or something? And this dude messages their DoorDash driver. If you pull in at the light and turn left, the gate should be open. Hi, this is DoorDash connecting you to your Dasher for updates about your order. Okay. And then they sent this image. Your order was dropped off. Please refer to this photo your Dasher provided to see where it was left. <laughs> Same, LMFAO. My drunk ass wanted my tacos. He told me, hold up, I have to take the picture first. <laughs> did he actually do this? Damn, did he have a gun out too? Homeboy made it sound like that picture meant life or death. Listen here, punk. If you want your tacos, you better put your hands up right now. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Oh, <laughs> the Halo Free fries and soda. Thank you, Master Chief. And an Xbox replies, you remembered. Halo Free, what a game. And what a promotion they had going, bro. All the marketing behind this game was massive. Ah, uh, this needs to come back, baby. Just imagine that tomorrow you walk into Burger King and then... <laughs> They've got Halo Free all over their fries and drinks and everything. So this person tweets, thinking about how oomph holds a pencil. And underneath we have this image right here. Um, 
Yeah, very interesting way to hold a pencil. And then this dude replies, Wait! OMG! I've never met someone who holds it the same way I do. Hello! And he says, The original picture is you. <laughs> My seatmate back in grade school holds his pen like this. I have no idea how he can write with this ugly ass form. <laughs> what is that? My dude's going in for a bro fist. <laughs> No, no, seriously, you can't actually write like that, surely. Do be taking like a maths test and everyone in the class be looking around like, is this guy trying to start a fight? You look across the room and you see this dude clenching their fist at you. Next up, Frosty tweets out, Gamers, assemble. And attached we have this little screenshot here. So Nateshot says, Another one down, a million more to go until this arm is filled up. And he's flexing his little tattoo here, okay? And Frosty says, How many retweets on a tweet for you to get? Sex is temporary. Gaming is forever tatted on you. And Nature says, A hundred thousand. I bet. And then yeah, on this tweet where he says gamers assemble, it's got 259k retweets. <laughs> okay, looks like Nature Shot's gonna be getting that tatted then. Rip. No words. None. Girls on their period. A little bleeding. Maybe a teeny weeny bit of pain for a day or two. Men on leg day! Horrible pain for days, maybe even a week. Seizures, hypochondria. Get told they walk funny publicly. Fainting, humiliated, awful sore. Pee blood like women, possible death. Feels like tiny man is punching you. Extreme appetite, debilitating nausea. Pain is a result of hard work, not a result of inferior genetics. <laughs> And as well, um, let's just appreciate the like little caption here on TikTok. Suck it up. Hashtag for you page. Hashtag suck it up. Hashtag for you. Hashtag funny. Hashtag viral. Women, girls, men, gym, leg day. This guy right here has just put forth one of the most political and philosophical arguments we have ever witnessed on the platform. Comparing girls on their period to men on leg day. <laughs> what about a girl on her period? and a girl on leg day at the same time. RIP. Tony Hawk being wholesome. And Tony tweets out, Kid at skate park as I arrive. You a good skater? Me. Sometimes. You ever been here? No. You travel a lot? Yes, perhaps too much. Are you a YouTuber? No, I'm just a skater and a dad. Wanna see me do a jump? Absolutely. And then I shot this pic. And then we got this picture here. And is that the kid going for an epic jump over that little, little hump on the skate park? Look at him go! And then Tony Hawk says, Follow up. I asked him his name and he said Irving. I told him my name is Tony, to which he replied sarcastically, Like Tony Hawk. <laughs> and then he left. The neighbors just put the house up for sale. Couldn't resist checking it out on Zoopla. That's our bloody cat! Oh my days, dude. Like, <laughs> I I've known that sometimes cats can go into like the next door neighbor's back garden, but this guy really took it to the next level. And he was like, you know, chief, I'm gonna pull up in the crib and actually jumped into this dude's bed. I think the property price must have gone up about $50 million after this, bro. The fact that you get a free cat with your purchase, great. Brilliant. This is my cat. That's not my house. <laughs> right, are you telling me there's more than one person who's had this issue? <laughs> How has your cat just got up into your next door neighbor's top bedroom, dude? Level 100 sneak. My neighbor's Facebook. My cat, not my garden. He really said, take a photo of my ass so her next door can kiss it. Oh, damn, girl, look at that cat. This dude's gonna be dropping the OnlyFans soon, huh? Or um, maybe, maybe it's not gonna be called OnlyFans, it's gonna be called OnlyCats. Taken last week and hashtag not my cat. Spent ages trying to gently shoo it out. I didn't want to accidentally lock it in, but it was roundly ignored. In the end, I had to pick it up and physically eject it. It was affronted. Did this dude really just say they picked up the cat and physically ejected it? No wonder this cat looks like it's been absolutely wiped out, bro. This cat looks like they've been playing some Black Ops 1 zombies and just got downed, bro. They need a revive out here, chief. That would explain the suspicious lump found in my bed. I don't own a cat. Okay, okay, guys. How, how is everybody getting free cats? I didn't think this was normal. <clears throat> you got to be kidding me right now. And this dude's got a message from his boss. Take the day off. You've been working really hard. It's paid. I really appreciate that, boss. Have a good day. April Fools. I need you in 30 minutes early. 
You know what, dude? Uh, you've got to just quit your job after getting a text like that. The utter disrespect. And April Fool's prank, though. Thought I'd let you all know, my cat is indeed still an idiot. <laughs> what are you doing, Chief? <laughs> Does that taste good? Yeah. This cat is just so cute. Daisugi. The Japanese forestry technique of growing trees out of other trees. And honestly, dude, these images just like really impressed me. Up. <laughs> I don't know why, it just kind of reminds me of Minecraft. I didn't realize like trees could actually do this. That's awesome. Why is my boyfriend broken? And she texts her boyfriend saying, well, let me know before you book anything because I could have clients. Okay, I've booked it. <laughs> what? <laughs> just like, oh yeah, let me know because I might have clients. This guy's just like, nah, sorry, chief. We think we're doing the right thing. Sometimes the brain doesn't click in time. Lol. My wife was forever moaning at me for booking stuff, then enjoying herself at it. No, she wanted it booked. She just needed a check-in first of him to make sure she didn't have a client at the time he wanted. Imagine if the only available time slots on the day he was going to pick were all when she had clients. Then she'd need to tell him to go for a different day. Wow, bro, I can just tell there's going to be a massive arguments going all throughout this thread. What's England like? Um, uh, this. <laughs> What even is this image I'm looking at right now, bro? Oh my gosh. Like, some car has just decimated this bench right now, and homie is still out here enjoying his drink of uh, beer or cider, whatever it is. Got a nice pint there, lads. My dad swears he doesn't have a favorite. And we got a couple signs up on the lawn here. First one, Cypress Woods High School. Class of 2021, Ryan Paraparam. Valedictorian. And then we got the other kid, Texas A&M Mechanical Engineering, class of 2021, Justin Bababui, not valedictorian. Oh man, poor guy. I think we all know who the favorite here is in this uh, family. <laughs> Texas A&M University say, we're still proud of you, Justin. <laughs> Congrats on your degree, man. And to your little brother, tell your dad literally no one in the private sector cares about grades. <laughs> Oof. I feel like getting a degree in mechanical engineering deserves just as much recognition as a high school valedictorian. Tell him to go fix that damn sign right now. I'm proud of you, complete stranger. Fixed it. Congratulations to you and your whole family. Texas A&M, mechanical engineering, class of 2021, Justin, a kick-ass engineer. Yeah, that's more like it. You may be old, but are you this old? <laughs> Windows XP. Bro, only the OGs remember this shit. Bruh. Need that. Tired of seeing the same tweets every day. Uh, nah. That bull has wanted to do that to the last guy for a while. Oh my days. And the best bit is then some guy captions this tweet and he's edited it so it's like some Minecraft beast. Oh my days, bro. This guy, who is this guy? Mad Roz, like, bro, please. This kid is the next Michael Bay editor. Also, what do you even call this thing on Minecraft? Like, what is this creature? There's gonna be so many 12 year olds like, oh my gosh, this guy doesn't even know what the freaking name of that thing is on Minecraft, oh my gosh. Yeah, mate, you've never had a girlfriend, shut up. Sorry, I can't get over how awkward this photo is. Logan Paul is just standing there, like his mum forced him to stand near the weird cousins for a photo for her Facebook. This is literally what happens when the jock of the school decides to hang out with the nerds, mate. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Uh, Tommy in it is a, a literal chad. Please, Minecraft stands, do not cancel me. Whose idea was it to have this rehearsal dinner at an aquarium? This dolphin has just been staring at the food. What is he doing, naughty boy? <laughs> This guy is just eyeing up all of the food right there. Just like, damn, let me get a taste of that, yo. Looks good, baby. It's an unspoken social rule that you must feed your wedding photographer and your wedding dolphin. I thought these were random fish baby sharks jumping off the dishes. No, no. Um, how high are you right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing fish babies here, bro. I'm just seeing spoons. I'm more concerned about the cold noodles just sitting there than I am the dolphin to be honest. Yeah, I think there might actually be like heaters underneath or something, but if not, that's gonna be soggy. This is easily the hottest thing you could do in 2007. 
Oh, yeah. Like, if that didn't make you want to go out and buy Halo 3, I don't know what would, man. Next up, Barstool Sports tweets out, Leo is Mr. Steal Your Girl. And in this video, he can be seen walking up to Jeff Bezos and I believe his girlfriend. And just watch the way she looks at this man, bro. Like, oh my days. You do not want Leonardo DiCaprio coming over and trying to talk to your girl, man. Like, you can see Bezos just looking at him like, <laughs> bro. And then Jeff Bezos quotes the tweet with this. Leo, come over here. I want to show you something. Danger. Steep cliff. Fatal drop. <laughs> you don't want to be messing with this guy. Mate, Bezos, you're looking ripped, bro. <laughs> this is actually legit as well, guys. This is honestly the greatest Twitter beef I've ever seen. Imagine if Leonardo DiCaprio dies in, within like the next year. Everyone's going to be like, uh, Jeff. It just shows, man, like it doesn't matter how much bread you got. If Leonardo DiCaprio comes up to your girl, it's, it's game over, man. The description on IMDb for All or Nothing Arsenal. In Amazon's third installment of All or Nothing, we uncover the pathetic downfall of North London's second biggest club. No European football. No faith. Just vibes. Okay, I actually thought that was real at the start, but surely not. <laughs> Tier 5 is when Boris puts one of these outside your front door. <laughs> when you shoot your shots, use both barrels. So it begins with a New York Post tweeting out, Exclusive! Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting a divorce. She's done. And this guy says, Here if you need me, at Kim Kardashian. And then under the same tweet he says, Here if you need me, at Kanye West. He really doesn't care, one or the other, baby. I gotta say, if you're shooting two shots, man, you have more chance to hit. Um, they're kidding, right? And here we have some Facebook photos coming in from a school that I'm not going to name. Oh yes, these are some level 100 IQ plays right here. <laughs> not sure that mask's gonna work there, Chief, if I'm honest. It's worth it, though. I bet they're playing the Minecraft theme song right now. The human race is on the brink of extinction. <laughs> Nope, just Americans. Yo, Carl Jacobs can violate the heck out of me. Hi, Corinna. Uh, I don't know what this means. Looking very swag. Come find out. <laughs> oh, oh I don't know how you did it, Carl. Extraordinary performance here. Thanks, Jack. I don't really know what I did. Teach me, please. I've said it before and I'll say it again, man. Carl Jacobs, he is the Chad of Twitter.com. Every single e-girl on the platform wants to play Minecraft with this dude. Okay, so here we have, um... Decade Investor. And he tweets out, At 22, I have a podcast with over 200,000 downloads, a social media following of over 13,000, a net worth of over $75,000, a group of friends all over the world. This is just the beginning. Very impressive, I must say. But something even more impressive is this. Mumulus quotes this tweet and says, At 22, I have these nuts. <laughs> That's impressive. Also, don't forget, Mumulus, you also have a verified tick on Twitter. That's an achievement, dude. And we have some more uncaptioned images. So, we have Iceland all day breakfast, 400 grams. And it's the Iceland classic all day breakfast. Yummy, yummy, yummy. £1.79. Let's take a look at the review, shall we? Tastes simply horrible. If I was starving and had to pick between eating this and eating my own arms, then I would be no good in a Mexican wave. I don't know what you expect, to be fair, if you're buying a all day breakfast for £1.79 from Iceland. <laughs> Sausage, beans, hash browns, and is that eggs as well? <sighs> I'm not sure about that, mate. You pay for what you get, chief. Can't wait to see the cute pics I took last night. The pics. Oh, no. Oh, no. Android camera be like. I'm joking, I'm joking. If Twitter had a dislike button, this app would be 10 times funnier. This office space only costs $1.35 a day, and it comes with a coffee. Genius, mate. Genius. He's got a good point, though. You can't sell houses you don't own. You can't sell cars you don't own. But... You can sell stock you don't own? This is BS. Shorting is a scam. Legal only for vestigial reasons. Okay, cool. That doesn't change the fact that there are 48 million kangaroos in Australia and 3,447,380 inhabitants in Uruguay. So if the kangaroos decided to invade Uruguay, every Uruguayan has to fight 14 kangaroos. Dude, 
I'm from Uruguay. You telling me that now I have to also worry about fighting 14 kangaroos? Bruh. Twitter can be the cutest app ever. Um, really? After two years of long distance, we finally got to meet. And we got this dude with his girlfriend. Oh, so cute, bro. And this guy says, hey, man. Let me know if you want me to delete this, but I edited a version where you're both in the sun. <laughs> oh my gosh, how have you done that? Photoshop warrior. That is adorable. Like if you look at the original pictures, dude, on the left side, she's got a big like shadow over her. And on the right side, he's looking down with some shadow. But the Photoshop beast does this. Beautiful, mate. This is the ideal male refrigerator. All right, what have we got here? A pepper, some eggs, some pints. And, um, that's about it. <laughs> Plain white rice in that container. Oh, yes, that is a flex. That is a flex, baby. My boy's eating good. Gonna have some white rice and a pint. Happy birthday, king. This guy is about to devour that cake. Look at his face. Same vibes here. Ha, 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 happy birthday. Third birthday. Looking cute, looking cute. What is that big chunk of meat? Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Next time it's your cat's birthday, bro, you gotta be serving them up with a, a little special something like this. Like some of you guys are probably watching How's Twitter Free right now, and your cat's next to you on the couch or on your bed, whatever, watching the TV, and they're thinking, damn, for my birthday I didn't get anything. So yeah, next time it's your cat's birthday, give him a little treat. Meat cake. It's a small idea, but it'll change a lot. And here we have perhaps one of the greatest inventions made by human beings. Like, wow. Normal pet water bottle versus the easy drink. Normal pet water bottle versus the easy drink. Like, seriously, look at this, bro. So practical. Wow. Whoever invented this, very, very smart. But this dude comes along and um, has found some flaws in the design. What happens when the water is like this? So you see there's not very much water in it and you tilt it to the side. With a normal water bottle, obviously it still works, but with the easy drink, no. Oh, and in case it doesn't make sense, water will get stuck on this lip. But wait, turn it around so the cap is facing up, and then try to drink it. Gravity will do the rest. Genius! Love isn't real? Explain this. And we got PewDiePie and Marzia back in the day. Looking so cute. <laughs> and a PewDiePie and Marzia getting married. <laughs> you know, bro... <sighs> PewDiePie just takes straight dubs, bro, like, honestly. Most subscribed YouTuber. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure PewDiePie and Marzia met over, like, Facebook messages. So they were the old-school version of the Discord e-boy and e-girl, okay? PewDiePie was picking up e-girls before you'd even started school, bro. Honestly, what an inspiration, man. Wow. Next up, we got a tweet from Court in 4K saying, Minecraft YouTubers are the worst. So KSI tweeted out, RIP DMX, and then Tommy in it says this, KSI, it's my birthday, please can you do an Instagram story shouting me out since you did for Toby Jizzle, so you really should for me as well, thanks, my Instagram is Tommy in it if you don't know also. Oh chief, and then the tweet has been deleted. <laughs> I think Tommy must have had his KSI notifications on, trying to get just like a really quick reply for some epic Twitter likes. I didn't realize, probably not the best tweet to be replying uh, with that, to be honest. <laughs> Whoa. Next up, we got James, and he finally managed to find himself a girlfriend, bro. Hi, guys. Check out my girlfriend. Very beautiful. Very nice. I like it. It's fate she becomes my girlfriend. I will cherish her forever. James, you're an absolute champion, bro. Congratulations. Just look at that, man. It's so, so wholesome. Should have been me. I'm sorry, my friend. It's fate. Fate tells me to marry her. Be patient. You man will come one day. <laughs> Friends owned hard as frick. Lamal. <laughs> Damn, bro. I don't know about you guys, but this is just giving me some hope. Maybe one day I could actually find a GF, bro. I remember James was looking for so long, and he's finally done it. I'm very proud. Watch out for Uncle Joe. Oh, bruh. Wow, it honestly looks like Joe's leaning in for a little bit of a smooch there. Or maybe he's like trying to smell this person's cheek. I don't know. Fair enough, Joe. Oh, frick off. <laughs> FGD, FGD, G, 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 dot PNG already exists. Do you want to replace it? Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> so relatable, bro. Like you just be saving a random file, spamming your keyboard, being like literally like slamming every key just so you can hurry up and save it. But then it's like, nope, you've already done that. Guys. I think I stepped into the wrong Uber. 
Why are there cameras? Oh, no, no, no. Oh! Sorry, y'all. I was lying through my teeth. There will be no legs. It's just my boyfriend's car with that stupid sticker on it because it's yellow. <laughs> Ma'am, this was absolutely the weirdest and most suspicious way you could have expressed interest in adopting a pet. And this dude got an email saying, Small dog. I am looking to adopt a small dog. Before, let me say, I am not looking to torture or feed to a snake or use as bait. I just want to open my home and my heart to a dog. I believe pets enhance our lives. I checked Orange County Animal Service, but it seems small dogs are adopted as soon as they hit the front door. Thank you. I live in Orange County, and there are lots of people feeding cats and dogs to snakes and alligators here. <laughs> what? This is one reason why we don't do free adoptions through FAWG. There's actually a guy in town who's always looking for free kittens who has a snake. What? The first cat we ever adopted, they advertised an adoption fee and then didn't charge it when we got there. They just wanted to make sure whoever showed up really wanted a pet and not meat. Oh my days. Ditto. What the frick, bro? Well, um, that is something I didn't really want to uh, learn today. Apparently people adopt kittens and puppies to then go and throw to their snakes and alligators for meat. What the frick, bro? It's 2021. And Valorant is now the most successful dating app to ever exist. My ex cheated on me with someone on Valorant. Hate this tweet. And I hope it has a horrible night. Hold on a minute. I've never played that game. Why has nobody told me this is the place to go to be getting a girlfriend? What the frick? Chicago people call something decent and other people take offense. <laughs> Chicago people. That's decent. Others. <laughs> Literally takes a fence. My client paid for a tattoo like this. And it made my night. Wow, that's so cute. She went from LMFAOOO to LOL. I lost. From calling every day for six to seven hours to this. Told her to text me when she got home. I think she homeless. <laughs> Yo, how do we tell him? <laughs> I think her phone died. Opened. Uh, what? Is that 156,426 weeks ago? My gosh. I don't think we even existed at that point, mate. I think she died, bro. It's been three weeks since she said she'll text me when she's out the shower. What does that mean? Oh, she must be really clean. <laughs> she wants you, bro. It's just her phone dead. Nah. She on Xbox Live with some other e-boy, bro. Sorry to break it to you, mate. Now you're homeless, but the M is silent. Homeless is like me for real. And a sad boy TikTok. Yeah, mate. Get off Twitter. Go outside. She said she was going to call me when she got home. <laughs> I think her phone battery died. No. But guys, just shoot your shot. I mean, probably like one out of a hundred times you might actually get someone reply to you and then yeah, it's a dub. Never forget, we have great innovators on this site. How to flip someone off with three middle fingers. <laughs> this kid needs to get admitted to Harvard University, bro. What a genius. Every damn time. My email is well written, reviewed and ready to be sent. My email is sent. Attached file. Just left behind in the dust. Mate, you need an internet upgrade, buddy. Friend, I can't find his Insta. Me. Wait. <laughs> Someone's going on a little deep detective dive, are they? I think we've all been there, you know. When you want to try and find someone, you're just like, let me do my research. Next up, Miskiff tweets out, updated my LinkedIn. <laughs> Damn, dude's looking fresh, bro. Hard to look like a businessman when your feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> Make this your PFP. <laughs> What happened here, bro? I assume this is a stream, bro. Like, someone explain this to me, dude. Poor Miss Kiff looks so sad. What a dapper lad. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this goes hard. And I usually don't set phone backgrounds. Wow, this guy actually made Miss Kiff his, uh, phone wallpaper. <laughs> what the frick? Every time he opens up his phone, he's just gonna be staring Miss Kiff deep into the eyes. So this guy posts a text image and says, Mind your business. And someone texts him saying, Hey. How are you doing? Were you arguing with your mum in Morrison's earlier? Oh, this dude's nosy, bro. I reckon this dude was arguing with his mum because she wouldn't buy him some Microsoft points. Wait, do they still sell those in stores? I don't know. People do this and think they are an influencer. Oh, wow. You actually do get quite a lot of people like this on Instagram. Yeah, I'm only following like two people. Jake Paul and Elon Musk. And I've got a bunch of followers, so I'm kind of a big deal. Bro, no way. So this guy posted... They gave me my stimmy, that's all I wanted, with a little selfie underneath. And then, um, plot twist. 
I think he might have been one of the dudes who stormed the capital. All for that stimulus check, baby. This man risked his life for the stimmy. He deserves every penny. Mother has really just DM'd me to promote under here and thought I was going to be grateful for the opportunity to make $10. Frick out of here. Him with his homies after getting the stimmy. Oh! Used his stimmy to get some Nivea for his extra dry console. <laughs> Happy for your anniversary to when I flew to Edinburgh to surprise Finley and he flew to Paris to surprise me. And this is why we don't do surprises anymore. Okay, so this is a really cute little story. And um, it starts with this girl texting this Adam dude saying, Hey, Adam, do you know Finley's in the flat by any chance? I'm back a day early and wanting to surprise him. Lamau, he just flew to Paris. Like to do the same thing. Like literally. Lamau. No, he didn't. Only Finn. Yeah, he did. Bruh. No, no. You're kidding, please. No. And then she texts the Finley dude who I assume her boyfriend saying, Please tell me you're not in Paris. <laughs> Lol. Audio call. Come back! I'm here! Here is in Edinburgh, not Paris. I'm sorry. I was trying to be cute. Come back now! <laughs> wow. I'm in Paris. I know! Come back! I just landed. And then Finley posts to his Facebook, Anyone in Paris? I flew in to surprise Selma, but she flew back to surprise me. And now I've got 12 hours to kill. This situation is trophy worthy. You two are clearly soulmates. Your love is killing the planet. I'm sorry. Mate, this is hilarious. And there the guy is. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Turns out we were in Edinburgh Airport at the same time, going in opposite directions. Gives a whole new meaning to star-crossed lovers. That's one of the best things I've seen on Twitter in a long time, dude. At least Edinburgh and Paris are kind of relatively close to each other. Imagine if one of them lived in Australia and the other one lived in, like, Iceland. Rest in peace. Can we go back to primary school culture? Where your rank in the social hierarchy was determined by how fast you can run? No, it was determined by whoever sat here. <laughs> oh, these are classic, dude. But wait, like, why did they have those little bumps on the end? I never really understood that. I almost always had to sit on the wooden screw parts and had to stay silent whilst my bottom was slowly being destroyed. Best part to sit on in my opinion. Choose your fighter! And with Burger King saying, Love knows no age. Coca-Cola says, Age is just a number. We can still be the perfect pair. What?! Age really is just a number. Age is but a number, Todd. We hope to see you soon. <sighs> I love how it's not just one company saying this, but four big companies. Okay, guys, fair enough, fair enough. At Little Island, four inches missing from your product? Do I get a discount? And this dude's bought some potato chips, and uh, looks like the tub's pretty empty. Oof, scam. And Little say, Hi, Carl. We're sorry to hear about your missing four inches. <laughs> Small pee pee roast. Why should bread have all the fun when there's Weetabix? Serving up Heinz beans on Bix for breakfast with a twist. Hashtag it has to be Heinz. Hashtag have you had your Weetabix? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> beans and Weetabix. Oh. I love beans and I love Weetabix, but that just looks so. <sighs> the Weetabix looks so dry, bro. Yet you've got the moisture of the beans over them. What a collab, Weetabix and Heinz beans. <laughs> Would you punch me for $5? Um, good question. And then this dude replies with this. Bruh. And another guy says, No, I would never ever punch a female, especially a one of your type. I would treat you right with all your respect, and would never even think of laying my hands on you for money. Five dollars isn't even a lot either. I would def not punch you for that amount. Not even for a million, I promise. Get the frick out. Plus ratio. <laughs> This who I'm losing to on the sneakers app on a weekly basis. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the level 100 hype beast supreme boss. Not only is he flexing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pairs of Jordans, but he's also flexing his two GFs. Ahem, <clears throat> fares. And this dude gets a text from their dad. Mum said stew for dinner. Wouldn't bother coming home if I were you. <laughs> I'm convinced none of your mothers know how to make stew. Because I cry with happiness when stew's on the menu. Funny thing is, um, you think your dad's trying to protect you from your mum's stew dinner, but 
in reality, your dad just doesn't want you to come home so he can play on your Xbox 360. But yeah, just think, like, there might be some other reasons why your dad's saying, Don't come home, son! <laughs> Next up, we got a tweet from Court in 4K. Bro asking himself questions and answering them on Instagram. When are you dropping that bury your heart? Bro, I can't freaking wait. In about a week or two. Stay tuned. When will you frick me? When you fly all the way from Australia to my city. <laughs> and look, he's got the same profile picture. <laughs> oh, you got Cord in 4K, Chief. Bro said, These boys all over me, OMG. Oh, yep. List of friends this mother fricker has. <laughs> That's just harsh. Why would he ask himself questions? Because this is his favorite album, Melly vs. Melvin. Uh, I don't want to flame this guy, but that is a little bit sad, you know, uh, setting up a little Instagram Q&A and you're just asking yourself questions. Especially when it's questions like, when will you frick me? <clears throat> Two types of men. So this is the first type. My rules as a boyfriend. You can't go out with your friends past 9.30. No guy friends. No exceptions. Only A's and B's. We have to hang out at least four times a week. You have to make me food and come over and do my laundry. Only once a week. If you leave me undelivered for more than 15 minutes, I'm blocking you for the rest of the day. You have to show me what you wear before going out. Don't tell me how you feel. I don't really care. And uh, this is the second type of boyfriend. Trade offer. I receive sloppy time. You receive nothing. <laughs> Which boyfriend are you choosing, guys? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. But honestly, this dude has a lot of criteria if you want to be his boyfriend. Oh my gosh. Only A's and B's. No. No way. Like, it's fairly reasonable, you know, going over and having to do his laundry. No guy friends, all that stuff. Yeah, totally. But the fact that you have to have A's and B's. Who's going to do that, bro? We love your nuts. Everyone to us. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go again. Snickers. I can't eat your nuts. One day, we hope you can, Sonny. What have I just read, dude? Next up, Corinna Kopf tweets out, I need a boyfriend. Hey, lol. Thanks for helping me pay for my medical bills when I fell down my stairs and broke my back, and then paid for my student debt because I couldn't work. You're always such a great guy, and have no problems picking me up in your Lambo when we hang out at one of your beach houses. Wow, this dude really came in clutch trying to support the homie. If I knew how to make Twitter bots, I'd make one that finds back and forth threads of people arguing, and then replies to one of them with their profile picture to get them extra heated. <laughs> That's a million dollar idea right there. Yeah, that would make people so mad, bro. Biggest downgrade in the history of downgrades. And you got the old school Minecraft YouTubers versus the new ones. <laughs> Most people who watch these new Minecraft YouTubers probably don't even know who these guys on the left are. That is ancient. Seen on the I-75, and we have this video here. Wow. No. Wow. What the f***, bro? What is that? Bro on his way to Los Santos Customs. Bro said... <laughs> Damn, girl! You know how to drive this thing, buddy. <laughs> he really did say this with his whip looking like that, though. Oh my gosh. Also, why is there something quite satisfying about this clip? Pulling up to Los Santos Customs, like. What's wrong with her now? <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> What's wrong with her now? Bruh. The mechanic at Los Santos Customs. Really, really, dude. The way he's speeding, he may need to hit up pay and spray as well to get rid of them stars, too. You're an OG since you said pay and spray. Damn. Damn, girl. Good morning. Hope you slept well. Hi. Hi. Yo, good morning. Yep, just you took it out, chief. Mother Frick is buying the new iPhone 14. <laughs> oh my gosh. This dude kind of looks like that bloke off of Harry Potter, like his uncle, except with 10 times more swag because he's got that drip on, like, bro. What is that? Literally just Christmas summarized right there when you get the same pair of socks. Apple doesn't even have to be innovative anymore. People will buy the same iPhone 10 times and be perfectly fine with it, lol. Kind of true, but also like if you don't upgrade your iPhone, it's just gonna die. Like I swear there's that, um, what's it called? Conspiracy, like if you have an old iPhone, it just eventually they pump out an update and it gets destroyed. 
Android users posting the same meme every time a new iPhone comes out. <laughs> yeah, bro, I don't want to be hearing this disrespect. You Android boys, your camera be looking like you're taking a picture of a potato G when they realize there's no new features and they wasted $1,300. What's going on here? People posting the same iPhone meme every year, joking about unoriginality. <laughs> People sharing this out like it isn't freaking awesome to get a second pair of my favorite shirts. Yeah, that's true. Why not get more drip? Oh my gosh, this is too cute. This is too cute. Why does he look so sad though? <laughs> Search dog. Probably because of all the weird stuff that's been coming through here, man. Bro, I just want to give this little guy a hug. He's so cute, man. Yo, dating? Sucks. Stay safe out there. And we got a little text that says, FaceTime me at 12 tonight. And she says, uh, Just FaceTime me. I'm doing homework and sometimes forget to check my phone. Ma'am, I don't follow women's lead. And the fact that you can't follow simple instructions shows your lack of respect for me. So I'm going to end it here. Yeah, this guy is definitely a Sigma male. <laughs> Dude's just out here in the dating stage commanding this woman. You better FaceTime me at 12. And if you don't answer, I'm sacking you off. Talking about can't follow simple instructions. Like, what? what is this, bro? Dating is not supposed to be like school as a 12-year-old, mate. Getting told what to do. What? Tell him to get off Tinder and sign up for Indeed. <laughs> He's looking for an employee, not a girlfriend. Girl, this is normal behavior for these men. And we've got another text, guys. So this dude says, Oh, you free this afternoon around 1? And she says, uh, I actually won't be. I'm going out of a friend at 12.30. Gay, gay. I can do tomorrow afternoon, or at least let me know it's a day ahead. Lol. This is my movie. You bend for me. It's not the other way around. Um, you're joking, right? What is wrong with these people, bro? What the f- Dude just called it his movie. Mate, you're literally using a dating app, buddy. Like, I don't- uh, It just doesn't make sense. Just looked out of the window on my flight, bro. What the frick is this? That'd actually be so cool to see that, like, outside of the window on a plane, bro. <laughs> There's some Covenant spawning in. I thought that was the top of this. What the frick? They said Bernie Sanders tweets out, We must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share. Period. And then Elon says, I keep forgetting that you're still alive. <laughs> what? This has been one of the wildest episodes I've ever seen for, like, celebrities beefing each other. Leo versus Bezos, and now Elon versus Bernie. The internet is a weird, horrible place. And this guy gets a message from someone saying, Mate, stop using chunks for clout. Without him, you'd be nothing. And he just laughs. You actually get on my nerves. Not gonna lie, mate. Frick off, you. And then later he messages him. Hey, listen, bro. I know we've had our differences in the past. But I would like to apologize and move on now. Oh my gosh, bro. The amount of times I've seen this example on Twitter where some dude will just message you in the DMs and be like, I want to freaking kill you. Then the next week they're like, hey, what's up? Want to collab? This is why I stopped using this app, man. Honestly. How do I tell my boyfriend that I want him to scream at me in bed? Like he's Gordon Ramsay and I'm a little chef who just ruined the creme brulee. This brought me back to the time I was naked in bed with a guy and he moaned and said, Gordon Ramsay is so hot. This is why I'm picturing. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I am lost for words. So here we are on the train and take note of this. Keep this seat free to maintain social distancing when possible. Okay. And then on Depop, we have this. <laughs> Someone trying to sell it as like a, a bralette or crop top. I don't know what you call it, bro. And they've titled it Social Distancing Children Railways Crop. Got a few of these, can do different sizes. Message me before buying or with questions slash offers. 15 pounds to buy. And if you notice, this is from Chilton Railways, okay? And then this dude sees the tweet and tags Chilton Railway and they reply, Hi there, thanks for letting us know about this. We've raised to the relevant team. <laughs> How is this app free? I need to know specifically what relevant team deals with this. Thinking about that one house in Las Vegas that was designed with a bunker 26 foot underground in case there were a nuclear war, and the bunker was designed to look like the outside world. First pick is the house above ground. Okay, so this is what the house looks like above ground, and then BOOM! This is it underground. Oh my. That's kind of fascinating, but also a little bit creepy. If a nuke goes off, you can just dip down here. <laughs> Oh, that's odd. Low-key though, I don't know about you guys, but 
honestly, I'd actually probably prefer to be nuked than uh, spend like 20 years underground living in this place. I'm getting this girl pregnant. I don't care. And I believe this is a pick a date little Google form that his girlfriend sent him. Pick a date since my baby deserves a day out. Create your special day and I'm on my way. Oh, I'm jealous already. When are you free? January 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 19th, January 21st to 24th, or other. Where do you want to go? Beach, water sunrise slash sunset, picnic date, thrifting date, mystery date, I choose. Snow, road trip, drive anywhere for the day, museum or art date, botanical gardens, hike, zoo slash aquarium, or other. What is your Starbucks order? Hot slash cold and food. What do you want to eat? Choose on the day off or be surprised or plan ahead. Do you want your <coughs> sucked? Yes. Yes with whipped cream. And what would make this day even more special for you? And he gets to put in his little answer. <sighs> how, how is this possible? How have you managed to find yourself such an incredible partner, bro? Please wife this girl up. I'm so happy my man doesn't have Twitter right now. Copying this and acting like I'm creative and thoughtful. Bye. Yes. Yes with whipped cream. Oh, bravo. This would be me telling the guys she's the one. <laughs> oh man, it's posts like this which just make me think, when is this gonna happen to me, dude? I guess he didn't like his free gold-plated PS5. And this story begins with a text message. If you're so generous, why not do a gold-plated PS5 giveaway? Clearly you have the money for it, as you give away thousands of dollars of games all the time. Just desperate for followers? Prove me wrong and do a gold PS5 giveaway, please. Okay, I will send you a gold-plated PS5. What's your address? Oh, frick yeah! <laughs> that was so easy. Name? Mac Bababooey. Address? Bababooey. Please get it to me by Saturday. Congrats, man. Your gold-plated PS5 is on the way. Man, you are such a sucker. Thanks for the free stuff. Oh, not at all. It's my pleasure. And instead of actually sending him a gold-plated PS5, I don't know if that even exists. Does that exist? Anyways, the dude sends him this on a piece of paper. You, happy to see PS5. Gold-plated PS5. Pretend the green is gold. I don't have a gold pen. <laughs> and a little smiley face to top it off. So anyways, this dude thinks he's getting a gold PS5 for free and ends up receiving this piece of paper, full image attached to the tweet, and says, You think this is funny? Do you really want me to answer that? What the frick, douchebag? You paid international shipping for this? And priority shipping? Where's my PS5? Well, you said you wanted it by Saturday. You don't like your new PS5? No. Frick you, man. Get frickin' blocked. Did he really think he was gonna get a gold-plated PS5 for free? <laughs> What's next? You're gonna be asking random people on Twitter to pay off your tax bills, buddy. The priority courier service I paid for cost me $60, by the way. Worth every cent. Wow, 60 bucks just to troll this dude. And the story continues, and this guy says, Our friend is not so happy right now. <laughs> and he's getting more messages from the dude, who I assume must have unblocked him and says, this is not funny! Delete that post! I don't know, man. 2,000 people seem to think it's pretty funny, actually. I'm not deleting it. You know I can sue you for this, right? False advertising. And now slander. Oh. Why don't you do that, then? I'm being nice and giving you a chance. You're lucky. Delete the post, and I'll drop it. Let me think about it. Hmm. No. Frick you! Summon this guy to a court of law and see what the judge has to say when you inform them that you're pressing charges because this guy false advertised a free gold-plated PS5 and uh, slandered you on Twitter.com. That's definitely going to be an intense legal battle, bro. I actually will never be sad again in my whole life. Supreme are dropping a Shrek collab. Yo, yo, is this actually a joke? <laughs> That's drip. Rest in peace, bank account. Rest in peace, bank account. Millionaires trying to relate is so cringe. I'll have you know this man has about $20 in his bank. The pure maintenance of keeping that mask washed, it costs hundreds of thousands a day. But yeah, forget about Supreme Louis V, baby. We got Supreme Shrek. I actually might have to buy one of these if this is real. Imagine a mother fricker turning up with a Supreme Shrek skateboard. Like, dude, if you turn up with this mother fricker uh, the first day, like, you honestly are just about to get laid. Why isn't your camera on? Me. No reason, miss. Just... Just having a good time. And then Zoom replies, Don't forget to turn off your audio. 
or the whole meeting will turn into an ASMR session. It's funny to think that um, when someone's got their camera off on Zoom, you really don't know what the heck they're doing. Theoretically, they could be doing this during a maths class. In quotation marks, irrelevancy. Ali A has fallen towards irrelevancy. And then the next screenshot is <laughs> his YouTube channel, where he's got like millions of views in the last few days. You know what, guys? I'm not going to lie. If that is uh, being irrelevant, I don't want to look at my channel. Please like this video and subscribe so I can actually get pushed in the algorithm and get some views and not be irrelevant anymore, guys. Please. My wife might leave me. But ironically enough, this Sunny V2, I actually watched like a lot of his videos. He does some interesting stuff. This one time in third grade, I was really mad at my mom. So I furiously Googled, I want a bomb on her laptop like 900 times because I thought the government would come and arrest her. <laughs> This poor woman had this child in her womb for nine months. All for them to come out and then try and get the FBI turning up at the front door. <laughs> Next up, Dream tweets out, question mark, question mark. Dream leaked face reveal. Oh, uh, okay. This is a high school band practice in Wenata- <laughs> Wenachi WA. My gosh. <laughs> hey bro, play the Drake song. What are they doing, bro? Level 100 protection. That's going to be interesting. Next up, we have a tweet captioned, haha, laughing emoji face. So Cassie here posts a couple of images of herself. And then this dude says, hey. And she replies, hey. With a photo of, I believe, <laughs> her and her boyfriend. Ah, nice try, bro. Nice try. My friend drunk texting the DoorDash driver, I'm LMFAO. So her friend says, I love you. Hi, this is DoorDash connecting you to your Dasher for updates about your order. Love you too. <laughs> you are my soul mate. Really? Yes. I'm glad to know that. What's going on over there? Long ass line. It's okay. Just hold on. I can't wait to see you. <laughs> I hope this blossoms into a fantastic relationship. They could honestly make a movie about this. Must be a pretty interesting situation though for the DoorDash delivery driver. Just getting some random dude texting you, I love you, please deliver my food. <laughs> my family made me mad, so I changed my Netflix password. I'm choosing violence today. And then they get a text from Dre. Man, let them sign back into your account, because they're not signing in mine. Lexi, missed FaceTime call. And then Cash says, you want a power trip or something, bruh? I ain't did nothing. Let me sign back on. And then her mama says, girl, you petty, lol. Changed your little Netflix password. Grow up. I love you. Missed FaceTime call from Daryl. Good morning, sissy. Um, did you change your Netflix password? It kicked everybody out. This is one of the most disrespectful things you can ever do to your family, bro. Changing the Netflix password. Oof. And then Netflix say, I can't condone violence, but if you felt this was necessary, I got your back. What's up with that price increase then? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I don't think Netflix is going to reply to that. There's this Facebook group of people who sort of look like Adam Sandler, but aren't actually Adam Sandler. Oh my gosh. So we got this guy. We got this guy. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> and oh my gosh, they actually do, bro. Finally, Facebook being put to some good use. The Korean Baseball League Championship Trophy is a massive freaking sword. Are you joking, man? Is, is this photoshopped? Or is Korea just awesome? Wow. The baseball championships coming in first position. We got the dinos. They pick up the sword. Why are there no night museums? Um, there are free movies explaining what happens at night to the museums. <laughs> yeah, have you not seen Night of the Museum movies, bro? Come on. And not even one of them was needed. Take it back. Yeah, you can't really be disrespecting one of the greatest movie franchises of all time quality about to catch me a gf <laughs> he's got the trap out bro any girl sees that what is that some kind of like coffee or milkshake or whatever some eyelashes and a hundred dollar bill come here come here come here go on i know you want it and then this guy says i shouldn't have to say this but please understand this tweet is a joke i obviously don't condone <laughs> Capturing women. That's creepy as frick. My GMA saw this tweet and said it would be offensive to women. So if anyone finds this tweet offensive, please DM me and I'll delete it immediately. The actual people from that meme. 10 years on. Oh my goodness me. There's no way. There's no way. 
Now, when I saw this, I thought it was actually these guys 10 years on, but um, I think I might have just been baited. This guy says, Yes, people. Oh, have a sense of humor. It's a trio cosplaying for effect. I mean, it's not a matter of sense of humor. There's nothing here indicating that it's a joke. It's just a lie. <laughs> John, how could you lie to us like this? More importantly, is this a museum, bro? Like, if you look down in the little bottom left side, that's exactly like in museums when they have some kind of, like, text about the, the image up on the wall or the painting, whatever. Is this a modern art museum, guys? The funny thing is, one day there probably is going to be an actual meme museum. Like, this picture of Ninja will probably be hung up on a wall somewhere, and people will appreciate it as the art it is. Babe, we have guests. Go get the fancy cups. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are the fancy cups. Wow. That is just so fancy, baby. I just took a DNA test, and turns out I'm 100% Lizzo's biggest fan. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Next, we got a video captioned, Dude got the ice. Sheesh. All right, let's check this swag out. You know, with how big of a Ben 10 fan I am, I figured, hey, why not show off all the Omnitrixes that I have? Okay. Though, if I have to, I might split this in a second part. First up, we have the Omnitrix FX from the classic Ben 10 series. Fresh. The, and the Ben 10 Alien Force Omnitrix. Damn. The Ben 10 Projection Omnitrix from Alien, Ben 10 Alien Force. I the see. The Disc Ultimatrix from Ben 10 Alien, Ultimate Alien. Ooh. And here's another Ultimatrix. The whole wrist! My custom-made Omnitrix that I used parts where I use parts from the Legacy set. Nice, nice. An Omnitrix that I made out of a smartwatch. Okay. My paper Ult Omniverse Omnitrix. Bruh. And lastly, the uh, Galactic Monsters Omnitrix. Wow. I hope you'll enjoy this video. And it's hero time. You know what, bro? Like, screw buying some Gucci ice or like a Rolex. Why waste your money on that when you're just going to get outflexed by this dude? Like, dude, that is a collection. Wow. I often wonder how some games would turn out if they were made today. Are you sure you don't need my help? Uh, wh what are you trying to say, bro? <laughs> what was ruined because too many people started doing it? Freaking my girl. Thank you, Dogecoin, for paying for my shopping spree. Oh, damn. Kira Bridget do be flexing out here, bro. No, but that's pretty funny, dude. Just turning up to Selfridge just being like, yes. I'm going to drop $10,000 on some swag. And basically knowing that it's free money because you made massive profits on Dogecoin. 11 year old me telling my mom I need construction paper and glue at 9 p.m. <laughs> Bruh. It's called fashion. Look it up. Oh my gosh. Yo, is that Supreme, bro? Damn. I'll add a picture of my goat. Milk drunk asleep on the bed by my beers. If anyone knows where to buy goat cloves, let me know. <laughs> Dude's making it look like this goat's just absolutely destroyed those cans of Budweiser, bro. Yo, you had a long night at the club, chief. And then someone says, I'd need this guy with the hands photoshopped out so bad. And this dude replies, BOOM! There it is. <laughs> wow, that does actually look quite epic. I raise you this picture I found online. Oh my gosh. He's so swaggy, bro. I just delivered food to that guy that played Spider-Man in 2014. Andrew Garfield. Bro, rude as frick. How was he rude? So he's in Spider-Man 3 then? It was cool, but I asked for his ID. It's protocol if we deliver liquor. We have to scan. He kind of got agitated. I brushed it off. Then I thought about it. I was like, damn. That's the guy that dropped Gwen. <laughs> Next up, we got a tweet from the absolute Chad Heel Mike. A very, very big Twitch streamer who tweets, Bro, I just found a flyer that I hung up in my college dorm slash library to promote my first ever stream three years ago. Lol. I remember printing out 200 plus of these. Wow, time flies. What a freaking journey this life has been. And it's going keep growing. And I just found this so wholesome, bro. So we got Heal Mike with the epic 3D text and the Fortnite skin. Twitch.tv slash Heal Mike, April 2nd. Monday, noon to 8 p.m. Tan, juicy, dominance. Just an overall outstanding human being. Top tier gameplay, mixed with gifted physical genetics, mixed with good looks, 
mixed with an infectious smile and lucky enough to never need luck wished upon me. Survival of the fittest is the only thing that matters in life. Saying that, I run an elite organization called The Villains, and we are sitting comfy on the top of the food chain. So come follow the channel, and together, we will force our way through the competition. <laughs> and now he's verified on Twitter, big streamer, bro. It's cool to see. Next up, Chandler tweets out, I am now engaged. Congrats, bro, congrats. Mr. Beast next, question mark. Next, we got a TikTok captioned, you are got to love yourselves more when you accidentally go on a first date in a hurricane because you feel bad cancelling last minute. Accidentally go on a first date in a hurricane because you feel bad cancelling last minute and he wants to go. This is me on my way to a first date. <laughs> my umbrella is flipped over. It's totally storming. Nah, this guy's got to be like six foot five, extremely handsome. There's no way someone's turning up for a date like this <laughs> if it's just some random average dude. Hold. I'm so. I just had to document this. You've got to be good. I'm just saying if I don't find love with this kind of effort put in, who will? Up to the date. Dude, looks like freaking Gotham City. Which was one single hour long, um, in which he made me pay for myself. When I checked here in a little hurricane, um, we walked outside and he said, yeah, you're right, we should have rescheduled. Oh. That's so sad. She puts in all that effort only to <laughs> have a really dead date. Look at this, bro. Like, what are those? train is feeling just a little silly so the sea train was running express past my stop so now i'm walking back down i feel sorry for this woman man came out in like the most mad thunderstorm and hasn't even ended up having a good day <laughs> no on earth has ever made a woman this wet you know it's moments like this when you really know whether you're a sex in the city kind of new york girl or when you're a broad city kind of new york girl guess which one i am <laughs> Dating in New York City. Yeah, that dude missed out on a good girl, bro. Like, if she's willing to go through all that effort just to meet up with you on like the first date, bro, you gotta be locking that down. What a joke! You wouldn't take a tape measure to Nando's. Nando's UK, this is appalling. Not even a 10 centimeter piece of chicken for $6.75. I've been a customer for almost 20 years. The tomato slice is bigger. <laughs> you gotta give credit to this dude. Actually whips out the tape measurer in Nando's. You wild in chief. Here's a good point though. Blows my mind how many people spend their lives being mad on Twitter. All day, every day. What makes me mad about this site nowadays is that there are lots of users, mostly with a PFP of a football player, replying with the exact same shit, like ratio, and you fell off to nearly every famous person's tweets. Especially to a serious tweet. Agreed. Just relax and have a mint burrito. A mint what? This is disgusting. This looks delicious. Do you have any more recipes? Yes. Mint gyro. Check out our account for more. You guys are... What? Who is this? The mint economy. <laughs> the creators of the mint movement. Hypergrowth tech startup. We are creating value for our shareholders. Get me some stock in this right now. Agreed. You get cancelled for something as simple as calling this a stick. <laughs> so true, bro. Charlie speaking facts. POV, you just opened Twitter. I think I'm going to bruh myself. Is that actually an Elton John song? Next up, Dream tweets out. If anyone sees this man, please let me know. He stole my baby from me. What in the tarnation is that, bro? So freaking creepy. Like, this was at that Met Gala thing, wasn't it? Bro, I don't even understand what's going on with you guys in America and your Met Galas. Like, that that's just so bougie. Let's get a load of rich people together and make them wear really expensive clothes and flex. Although, it is a fundraiser, so I, I can't really complain. But it just reminds me of the Hunger Games, bro. Like, all these rich and famous people wearing just, like, 
thousands of thousands of dollars worth of outfits. And then you got some dudes who want to bring this in. What the? Dreams child. Elon Musk made $36 billion yesterday. That's more than most people make in a month. Like, damn. Yeah, try a uh, 100 lifetimes. It is fact, so, you know. When they whip their little phones out, they really got to prep for the worst. What, what is this? What do you date me? Uh -oh. Baby, we couldn't even get a drink together. Why? Oh. You can't buy me nothing. What do you mean? Look at your outfit. What are you wearing? I think I look pretty fly. For who, your mom? <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Okay. Not for me. But. <laughs> Yo, this poor guy, man. Getting rejected on the streets. Oh, my days. This, this little interaction here was brutal. I'm not gonna lie, I actually rate his trip, you know, bro. Like, the shorts, the shirt, the slides. Let's go, baby. But yeah, if someone comes over to you in the street and they bring over a freaking iPhone 5 and they're like, yo, can I record you real quick and ask you questions? Yeah, you, you're going straight on TikTok. When her hair is put up and she leaves the two little strands in the front hanging on her face. <sighs> Woo! Girl! I'm not gonna lie, boys. That is a personal favorite of mine. Girls go from a 6 to a 10 when they do that. No lie. What the frick? It got me like, oh no, no. My mama when she told me to take the chicken out and I forgot. <laughs> Be looking at them like. You might also like teen beats. Homework vibes. Um, I'm 27. <laughs> Dude's got taxes to be paying, not listening to homework vibes. Deadass found my long lost childhood best friend. What the frick? Okay, so it all begins on Tinder when this dude matches with Haley and she messages him saying, This is going to sound crazy, but I swear you were my neighbor when I was little. We used to hunt bugs all the time. Wait, I barely remember when I was little, but I know I hunted bugs all the time. You could be onto something. What the frick? Long lost friends? Seriously? <laughs> I think my mom has photos of us on her Facebook. Let me try and find them. Okay, bet. These were the only ones I could find, but... Oop, never mind. It will not let me send them. Okay, text me him. And then she texts him these pictures right here. <laughs> and he says, Baba boy. Yeah, that's me. L-M-F-E-O-O-O. They've been brought together after many, many years. And who'd have thought that'd be the Tinder app, baby? Follow me for updates. We're gonna meet up soon and I'll tell you all about it. And then he meets up with her and posts this. Wow, this is epic. I normally am not a big fan of the Tinder app, but I like this. I hope this isn't set up because honestly, that's kind of cute. Never a dull moment in the building chat. Has anyone's friend just got into the wrong apartment? Because if not, a random man has just tried to break into ours. <laughs> Does anyone have a can opener? <laughs> I love how there's no response between these two. This person's got the problem of a grown man trying to break into an apartment, and this dude's like, Yo, has anyone got a can opener, bro? This just levels, levels, mate. Today I wasted a PS5 scalper's time in petrol, and I'm so happy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so there's a dude on Facebook, I think, listing a PlayStation 5 console, brand new, for $1,250. Oof. Hi, is this still available? Yes, it's available. Great, I'm leaving work at 4.30 today, but I only have my bicycle. Would you be willing to meet me around Baba Bui? I can get cash out before I leave. Sure thing. Cool, I have a small red bike. I'll shoot you a message when I get off work. Sounds good, man. Hey, mate, I'm leaving now. Thanks, mate. And then the guy sends for a picture of the PS5. Ooh, looking fresh. Oh, wow, it's big. Going to be interesting riding home with that. <laughs> I can help you drop it at your house if you want. No stress. Nah, that's cool. See if you can fit it in my bag. You'd need a duffel bag, lol. I can grab something from work. Closing shop now. <laughs> this should be interesting. She will write. I live down near the circus. Really close. What sort of car do you have? I'm riding over to the car park. I'm in a silver golf. Just coming through Warrilla now. Okay, message me when you arrive. I should stand out. Orange hair, red hat, red bike. Ah, crap, sorry. I got hungry and ordered some Maccas. I'll grab my stuff and meet you. Haha, <laughs> no worries. I'll wait out here. Take your time. All right, I think I see you. Can you see a guy on a tiny red bike? I'll stick my arm out the window. Hmm, no dice. Can you honk your horn maybe? I think I'm behind you. Yellow hair, big hat. <laughs> and then he sets for this. <laughs> Gotta be clowning if you think I'm gonna pay that for a PS5. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. 
Uh, it's just genius, bro. I feel presentation is as important as the meal itself. It's a work of art. So Ninja tweets out, seemed like a really good idea at the time. And he's posted an epic TikTok. So I got this great idea on New Year's. Everyone's going to floss at the same time. And we're going <laughs> to... Oh, Ninja's class, bro. Rest in peace to Ninja, bro. In front of, like, millions of people. He was like, let's do some floss dancing, guys. And uh, the crowd was just like, mm, no, chief. I'm not exaggerating when I say I'm into old guys. The last guy I dated had an AOL email address. Oh, damn, son. Back in, like, 2005, bro, every Chad had an AOL email address. I accidentally went live instead of recording thumbnails for YouTube. Oh, no, no. Here it is. Oh, no. Wait, so this was live. That's awkward. <laughs> Most YouTubers have done this, bro. The absolute speed at which she clicked the uh, stop streaming button. It's impressive. But yeah, guys, if you ever see a YouTube thumbnail with, like, the epic Morgs OMG face, you know, this is, this is what YouTubers be doing, bro. Behind the scenes content. TikTok is uh, strange, bro. And we have a TikTok here that says... Anyone else have a little sesh with another girl around the age of eight and acted like it never happened? And this is the comments. Why is it always a cousin? I've blocked that from my- I'm not the only one, Lamau. The fact we all thought it was just us. <laughs> I thought it was just me. Please, let's not talk about it. Miss Mom, we don't bring this up. Why was I so freaky? Why are we yelling? I wonder if she think about it too. What the freak wrong with these dudes <laughs> on TikTok, mate? Honestly, like guys, am I the only one here who's never had a <clears throat> sesh with an eight-year-old? I don't know. Maybe these dudes have a different vocabulary to me, but where I'm from, when people say a sesh, it means like drinking. Like, oh yeah, just had a few pints with my eight-year-old cousin the other day. It was pretty cool. Mm, maybe not the best thing to be doing with your little cousin. Like, you should be loading up a game in Nintendo Switch, maybe playing some Mario Kart, bro. Not giving them shots of vodka. <laughs> but yeah, this is TikTok for you, dude. When they're not, like, pouring bleach on their forehead for likes, um, they're discussing this. I found you on Instagram. Oh, okay. I found you on Twitter. <laughs> what? No. No! Please tell me you haven't seen it. See my tweets. Like, seriously, bro, if someone says that to me, I'd be thinking to myself, oh my gosh. You've seen tweets like, who is this girl? I am in love. Do you eat burger with or without the skin? I heard these are really good skincare products for men. And we got the Deep Action Cream Wash, St. Ives Fresh Skin, and then this one, which I, I can barely read because it's like a two pixel image. This is all I use and it works really well. <laughs> Men, 13 in 1. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, mouthwash, deodorant, peanut butter, Gatorade, milk, that tin foil, tennis shoes, dental floss, eye drops. Oh yeah. You had me until I saw peanut butter. <laughs> Next up we have a video of Xbox Series Z concept. Okay, so we got the Xbox Series Z or Series Z and boom! Whoa. That is actually epic. It kind of looks like a beefy Nintendo DS. Oh my. What? And then he launches Among Us. I'm cackling over this whole ass setup. Booting into Among Us. Yeah, I mean, they try and make this look as epic as possible. <laughs> it's like something from 2069. And then the dude decides to load up Among Us. <laughs> like, yeah, that's really testing the graphics right there. The shirt stays on during SEX. Eat, sleep, floss, repeat. <laughs> ice on my wrist am i doing this right oh no and i feel like most people with an instagram and a twitter can uh, relate with this bro like the instagram's nice and fresh you don't mind if someone found you from there but if they be seeing your tweets oh okay the force is strong today happy star wars day oh so you guys are finally admitting you're the bad guys okay <laughs> rip homeboy gave her options I've got an Instagram post here of a guy, I believe, proposing to his girlfriend, and look at that. She got a selection of five different rings she could choose from. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Wow, guys, you've really got to step up your game if you're thinking of proposing to your ego and you're going out there with one ring. Like, really, bro, really? Look at this dude. He's putting in the effort out here with five rings. Like, come on. Okay, Thanos. New standard. 
propose with Gauntlet and all six Infinity Stones. As if it's just happened again, at Just Eat UK, please have a word. And basically, Mimulus has this issue. Whenever he orders a McDonald's online and it gets delivered to his house, <laughs> it just gets absolutely destroyed. Then I think it happens again to him and he says, Thank you, Just Eat, for delivering my food so beautifully. And this is just a monstrosity. <laughs> how does this even happen? What? Honestly, I'm kind of impressed. Like, how the frick has that happened? Like, this is just a disaster. But anyways, it happens again and Mimulus says, The saga continues. So let's see, have Just Eat managed to actually deliver the food about it being obliterated? The saga continues. Um, so I stopped ordering like uh, actual drinks from McDonald's and just ordered a bottle of water to be safe. First time I ordered a drink, <laughs> it comes fucking empty! It's fucking empty! It's all spilled out in the bag! What the <laughs> saga? This guy really thought he was going to get a bottle of water and everything would be fine. Instead, they send one of these dodgy cups again and it's spilled everywhere. Like, wow. McDonald's are actually trolling. <laughs> Next up, Xbox tweets out, To the people in our replies saying PS5 is better, the best console is the one you enjoy playing. Have fun! Alright, Xbox, we all know you secretly want to come out and say PS5 is trash. How it started versus how it's going. So it started with, Hey, my name is Cameron. My mother is blank. I don't really know how to do this. I'm just wondering, hoping you and I could have a conversation. Uh, sure, about what? The possibility of you being my biological father. Wow, how old are you? I turned 26 on April 27th. And then BOOM! Wait, is this his dad? <laughs> what? Legendary. So here's this video captioned. Okay, exactly. What do you like about tennis? Um, uh, that I like that they hit the ball very hard back and forth constantly. What do you like? <laughs> I gotta thank this kid for that genius analysis. Wow. Imagine if Twitter had a... Nope, somebody already tweeted that. Try again feature. Meme Twitter if that happened. I just add some random Bruh. shit at the end. Yo, level 100 IQ. Telling me shrimp fried this rice? Window. <laughs> and this is the best bit. Someone searched it up and like... <laughs> like, someone literally tweeted this like 10 times already, bro. So ironic. Hey, we've got crypto bros taking L's. Hey, Elon Musk. How much sheep are you holding? None. And then the sheep decides to then drop from 44 to 35. Oh, dear. Crazy, man. Elon Musk can just tweet whatever he wants and then influence the entire market, I swear. This man could tweet out, sold all my crypto, and the entire market would probably drop like 10-20%. There's a man in my town who sits on this corner every day with open ears and an open heart, and I love it. Need to talk? I'll listen. Confidential, no judgment. Wow. Normally you have to pay for this. What a legend. Fans wish Drake a happy birthday. The following tweets are part of a live conversation detected by an algorithm. Man. Bruh. Do Drake in his birthday. <laughs> Poor Drake. He's out here on his birthday. Just, just wants some love on Twitter, but gets this. Yo, she gave the bear to Lexus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why the frick was a bear just freaking vibing in the Lexus? Now he's just like, casual, casual. See you later, girl. Hop back in, G. You enjoy that whip, yeah? Bump the orcs. What album are you playing? Hello, Bullet Store. Yeah, just one. We got Chipotle saying, Just watched my ex's story from the Chipotle account. OMG, shut up. Yo, do you have a clown palette? <laughs> oh, man. That's freaking savagery. Guys. This is important. Twitter account rules. No flirting with my female followers in the comments. They're all mine. Don't comment anything funny. I'm the only one who's allowed to make women laugh on my page. No flexing. Don't try to impress my female followers. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, guys, you can follow me on Twitter at FaintedSad. Just remember, abide by the rules, okay? Went to a kebab shop last night and spent nine pounds on 12 nuggets. Disgusted isn't even the word. Ah, that's wild, mate. I asked for 12 nuggets. The man said okay and pulled out the card reader. I saw nine pounds and at that point you can't say no. Oh dear, you could have spent that nine pound on Minecraft skins, mate. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click on the screen to check out the series. And yeah, subscribe and uh, bro fist.